Do you think you could go a day without using your phone? Probably not. So many people rely on their phones for everything all the time. To test this, I asked students and teachers from Boardman High School to see what they think. So let's check it out. So Jessica, do you think you could live a day without your phone? Um, yeah, I think I could. Do you, what do you, re, what do you, how do you use it? Like, do you rely on it for everything? Um, well, I use it to keep in touch with people and, like, to be social with my friends from other schools and that. Do you ever use it for emergencies? Um, yeah, to get a hold of my parents and my family. And I have my math book and, like, my homework stuff on my phone. Thank you. Hey, Mr. D, can I ask you a few questions? Oh, Chase, sure. <laughs> Go right ahead. Um, I was going to ask you, do you think you could live a day without using your phone? Well, I'm sure I could live a day. I've lived many days without phones in my life, although it's been a while. It's been a while. Do you, how often do you use it? <clears throat> well, quite, quite frequently throughout the day for communication purposes. You know, Just texting. communication? You're not on uh, social networks? Uh, no, I, I, I use it a lot for uh, news stuff. You know, I try to keep up on what's going on in the world. What do you rely on it for? I, pretty much just that, you know, I, you know, texting or calling my wife to check on my son or, uh, you know, talking to my parents or uh, yeah, you know, just checking Twitter to see what's going on and the sports world or the real world, you know, try, try to keep me, uh, keep me posted on what's going on. So would you say you're on it more for emergencies, like checking with your son or social networks? No, I definitely more so for other reasons. Do you think you could live a day without your phone? Probably. Yeah, I have before, so yeah, I can. How much do you rely on your phone? Um, I rely on it for everything. For everything? Everything. Well, almost everything. Except for food. Except for food? And water. And water. Okay. So, do you see yourself using it more for emergencies or social network? Social network. Okay. Do you think you could live a day without your phone? That would be difficult. How difficult? Well, um, I go on it when I'm bored and I get bored a lot. It would be like, it'd be hard. What do you rely on it for? To contact my parents, to, like I mentioned, to go on it when I'm bored. Uh, if we're doing nothing in class, I'd go on that. To text people. I don't know. Do you think you could live a day without using your phone? Of course. What do you use your phone for? Okay. Um, calling, texting. Yeah. Do you rely on it for everything? No. No? So, do you use other sources for like homework? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you see yourself using it more for emergencies or social networks? Oh, okay. I guess social networks. How long, how long are you usually on your phone for? In a day? few hours. Alright. So Mr. Hollabog, do you think you could live a day without your phone? Could I live a day without my phone? Let me think about that for a second. Um, probably not. Uh, I rely on my phone for pretty much everything down to the calendar that I have to um, my music on it. Uh, I use it pretty much for everything now. Calculator, uh, it's like a planner for me. Um, probably not. No, I'd be lost without it. All right. Hi, Miss Lauderman. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. So, do you think you could live a day without your phone? Um, I think I could live. I think it would survive, but it would be challenging. I think I would feel uncomfortable without my phone. I need it for maybe security reasons, just to know that it's there if I need to get in contact with someone. So from that, would you say you see yourself on it more for emergencies or social networks? Um, probably more for emergencies during the day, um, but maybe like at home in the evening, I'll be texting my sisters or my family or, you know, just funny things that happen or whatever, just, just to basically keep in touch with people. So how much would, would you say you rely on your phone? Um, I rely on it probably quite a bit, mainly for maybe music and, you know, just kind of keeping in touch with people, I'd say. All right, thank you. As you saw, a few people said that they could, but the majority said they couldn't or it'd be difficult. 
I would have normally said no, but I decided to give the two-day challenge a try. The two-day challenge is going without cell phones or social networks for two days. Let's see how I did. So I'm about to lock my phone up for the night. Are you ready? And you see it? it's right there. What are you doing? Wish me luck. So I'm starting my Spanish homework as you can see. And this would be the time where I'd pull out my phone and use my Google Translate app or my Spanish translating app. Oh, this is so hard. Ugh. I think I might go on the on the computer and go to Google. Uh, better not. That's cheating. Don't want to do my homework. So now I'm done with my homework and I don't know what to do. Um, I think I'm gonna go work out in like five minutes. Ugh, I'm so lost without my phone. <sighs> my homework took forever just because I didn't have it. Ugh. So now that basketball season's over and track season's coming up, I'm going to start working out with my little brother this manny and we get to use his phone for music today because hey. i'm not allowed to use my phone see there it is look at that it's beautiful i wish i could have my phone all right we'll see how it goes since i have to listen to all of his rap music all right Feels a lot later. My workout wasn't that bad without using, listening to my music. I guess Eminem isn't that bad of a rapper. So, good morning everyone. It's day two of me not having my phone. This would be the time that I would get my phone out to listen to music to get myself ready. I don't know what to do. Like literally, I stay here and play with my hands because I don't know what else to do because I don't have my phone. <laughs> I'm literally That's like, this. my phone? It's in my coat jacket right now, but I can't touch it because if I touch it, I break my thing that I'm doing. What if there's like, your phone in jacket? I was thinking about that. Yeah, that's why I have my phone. So, but I haven't touched it all day, and I'm pretty. Proud. I didn't touch it yesterday either. It was really bad yesterday. I was trying to do my homework, and I was like. Uh, I don't know how to speak Spanish, so. So, day two still. Um, I just finished my homework and now it's time to spend time with the family without using my phone. Let's see how this goes. So, this is my family. We don't spend... what we do when we don't have our phones. Exactly. We all chill in the living room. Mm, well... <laughs> This is all safe. There's Mama Cook. <laughs> this is Mama in the kitchen. Manny, where'd she get the camera? Huh? And I got my this is what we do without technology. Don't you wish you could try it? There are some pros and cons to this experiment. Some pros would be I studied a lot more and I actually completed my homework using my book or notes instead of Google or an app on my phone. Some cons to this, I found myself eating a lot more because I didn't know what to do with my hands. Whenever I have my phone, I'm usually on Twitter or Instagram always checking out or seeing what's going on. Well, what do you think? Why don't you give the two-day challenge a try? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chase Perez with Spartan Magazine. Hi, my name is Gabby Napoli. Today we'll be showcasing what I found through interviewing random students and teachers throughout Borman High School. My topic was to get in-depth about how social networks are such an important part of their day. I'm sure you'll be intrigued to see what I found. Let's take a look. What are your top two social networks? Uh, Twitter and Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. I use Instagram and Twitter. Twitter and Instagram. Like Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I would say Instagram and Twitter. I'm gonna have to say Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I run Twitter 
and uh, I put some stuff on Instagram. I'd say uh, Twitter and Instagram. Twitter and Instagram? I use an Instagram. Probably Twitter or Facebook. I'd have to say Twitter and Christian Mingle. I use Facebook and Twitter. Uh, probably Facebook and then Twitter. Well, definitely number one would be Twitter. I definitely use Twitter the most. Um, and Facebook a, a distant second. Why do you use these networks? Uh, to connect with friends and like see what my friends are up to. Pretty much use it for my entertainment. I like to like release stuff about me on the internet, you know. Pretty much just to like vent, get my ideas out there. I like to just, you know, go on rants. I look at some pictures, you know, laugh real quick, and then, you know, every now and then it's just like a gag thing. Because, you know, people always post some funny stuff. I have nothing else to do here and at work a lot of the time. And no one likes to talk to me or text me, so. Oh, okay. To keep up with the news and stuff like that. Just stay up with my friends and socialize. Well, to talk, to get my feelings out. I'm mainly for uh, news, information, sports, uh, you know, sports happening, jokes. I like news, I don't like watch a lot of TV, so I like a lot of sports feeds on there. I'm like all day, like during school when I get home. Like three? Probably. 28 to 30, I would say. So you're like over into the next Yeah. Wow. Probably all day. Probably like two or three. Not even one. Zero because my dad smashed my iPod. Oh, well, if you had access, how many hours a day? Uh, an hour and a half or two hours. Every time I'm bored, which is a good amount of my day spent here, just pull out my phone and sit on it. So I don't know, probably like two, three hours. Maybe an hour at most. Probably okay. not even an okay. hour a day. Uh, I probably spend less than less than one hour a day. I don't know. I can't live without my phone. I could probably try to. It'd be difficult. But... So you don't think you could do it? No. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I, I deleted my Twitter for like over a week once, and I was fine. And sometimes I don't see. Well, I don't have a cat, so I don't post that on Instagram. Um... And sometimes I don't run into cool nature. So I could probably go a week without that too. Yeah, most definitely, as long as I keep busy. As you can see, there are three main social networks everyone seems to be using nowadays. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Most people I interviewed say that they can't go a week without using these social networks. It just has become a normal part of their day. They constantly check it and keep up to date with what's going on throughout the world and with their friends. Thank you for watching. I'm Gabby Napoli, and this is Spartan Magazine. you to this program? Well, the fun and excitement that I've seen from different years before me, before I was in band, makes it really seem to be more fun and enjoyable. All right. So, like, what were your influences to, like, join band, like, people? Well, my brother and sister, who actually went to high school before me, gave me the influence to go through it. And I saw how they had fun with it, and I wanted to have the same experience. Wow. So I take it they were all in band? Yes. Okay. So how long have you been playing? Uh, since fifth grade long time. Okay, so why did you pick your instrument? Well, it started when I was at the elementary shows watching the band do Script Ohio. I saw the tuba player dotted the eye uh, and I got really excited and wanted to do that, so I made that my goal. So you play the... Tuba. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so why did you choose this, uh, why did you choose the music with all the competition? Like, knowing that there was so much competition? Well, it's just the fun of it. It's not really not really my main goal is the competition, it's just to have fun and enjoy myself and give me something to do. That's good. Alright, so what's the deciding factor for people to come see the Boardman Band other than going to other schools to see their bands? Uh, just the amazement that they have, just from the director, from all the challenges that he gives the students and the different amazing shows that he gives on and sets up for the kids that perform. So what do you think people get out of the Boardman Band? They get fun, they get to hang out with their friends, they get to spend a lot of time with them, they get to enjoy themselves, they get to make memories with each other on band trips and going to the football games. All right. So why do people enjoy being in the Boardman Band? Well, it's the same reason. They just like to enjoy each other's time together. They get to have fun, play around, and just hang out. Okay, so how was your experience while being in the band? 
Well, it's a lot of fun, you know. Being in the tuba section actually is a lot more fun than some of the other sections because they get to screw, they screw around a lot more than more sections do, and they're a little bit less loose with the rules in the section. I don't know if that's a good thing, but um, so what was your most e memorable experience? Um, I would probably have to say the band trips. I don't remember which one would be the best one that I'd have to say because they were all fun in their own way. Um, so are you going to continue um, down the music path later, like once you graduate from high school? I thought about going through to college and playing and I'm still debating on it, but I'm thinking I, I might want to. That would be good. Alright, so what advice can you give to other students who want to join the Thornman Band? If you do it, stay with it. You'll have fun throughout all four years. Don't quit, don't give up. Don't get tired of the directors or other people inside the band. Just have fun and that's what the best thing about it is. All right, well thank you. Hi, I'm Brooke Pagani here at Spartan Magazine and I'm interviewing David Larkin with Live Run. So, uh, what is Live Run? It's my free running team. It's not mine. It's uh, my friend Amir's. And uh, he's. We just. Um, I don't know, it's just a free running team. It's. Uh, what was your inspiration? Like Jackie Chan and even people like Bruce Lee. And then there's a couple guys on YouTube who are pretty good that, you know, watch them there. Like they have their own, you know, team. And they're pretty good. So that's pretty much it. Just watch a lot of those guys. Alright, who got the idea for your name? It was Amir. He uh, just came up to me one day out of class and he was like, because we were thinking about it for a long time, like a, a couple months what we were going to try to call it, because we knew we wanted to have a team and he just came up to me after class and said, you know, oh, we're going to call it a live run. And I don't really know, like, he explained it to me, but I don't remember exactly what it means, but I don't know. Free running, I think, is a lot more um, fun. It's like, it's more like you do what you want. Like, people who do parkour don't really like do flips or whatever. But since we like to do flips, we do like free running, and I think it's more fun that way. All right. So, what made you want to make something out of it? Like other, like other people on YouTube, how? Because we thought it was cool how they could just go to like the mall or something, or have like public viewings of them flipping and people just watch them and they like it and we thought it would be cool if like we could do something like that. So if you asked anybody who we've ever helped with a backflip or anything that it's it's not scary once you have like somebody else who knows what they're doing because like me, Zach and Amir, we didn't have anybody so we just kind of like did it. Like I spotted Amir and Zach and then Amir tried to help spot me and after we got it was just it was like riding the bike. Uh, what are some good tips for people who want to get into this? Find a good teacher, that's probably the one thing. And um, really that's it, you just have to have, you know, you have to uh, have some guts, I guess. Because you, you can't go into it like scared all the time. Because if you're scared, then you're not going to do anything. Yeah. So you have to, you know, you have to be a little bit brave. And then you, find a good teacher is number one though. You need a good teacher who knows what they're talking about. So you have to be able to want to do it? Yeah. like. Yeah, you have to want it to be able to do it, and that's the easiest way. Uh, what are your goals for Live Run? We're just trying to get known in Boardman right now, because, you know, there's people who are known, like, Three Run, those guys are known around the world, they get called for commercials and stuff, like, it'd be really cool to do stuff like that. Like, what have you done so far to get, like, noticed? Uh, we've only have a couple YouTube videos up so far, really just sending it to everybody, like, the couple videos we have, we just... Make sure we send it to all of our friends on Facebook and, you know, everybody that we know.